layers with equal actual clearance so that the thickness of dough patches pressed is even. Adjust the hand wheel before use of the automatic pressing machine by rotating so that the hand wheel can be rotated flexibly to adjust the gap as required. The turning direction shall be identical with the direction marked on the machine. Refill the oil filler with a lubricating oil per shift. Conduct trial idling operation, and the machine can work if there is no abnormal sound. One type. Switch on the power if everything is normal in the trial operation. Clean the anti-rust oil and dust. Adhere to the roller and other parts with two to three kilograms of dough pressing for several times. Rotate the handle by rotating the hand wheel to adjust the advance and retreat of the roller and the gap between rollers. The gap between the rollers can be adjusted in stepless way in allowable roller adjustment range with even actual clearance. In order to improve the quality of pressing dough and Prolong the service life of the machine. Adjust the gap between the rollers from wideness to narrowness step by step. Put the dough on the bottom conveyor, and then it will be automatically delivered to the gap of the rollers. So the folding of the dough can be finished automatically during operation. If the rotating speed of the roller or the pressing dough speed slows down, demand the left shield to examine the tightness degree and wearing condition of the ordinary V belt. Adjust or replace it in time. All maintenance should be conducted. When the power is off, carefully clean the machine after each use to ensure dietetic hygiene. Scraping the two rollers with sharp instrument is not allowed, and wash the machine directly with a spray pipe is not allowed either during cleaning. If the machine is not used for a long time, apply a bit of edible oil to the surface of the roller. If the machine sounds abnormally, it must be stopped and checked immediately. It is able to continue working after troubleshooting.